I'm sure one of the first questions that you get asked, how much? Uh, in terms of closing fee, um, we don't ask, want to ask you how much because there's a lot that goes into it, but what goes behind and what consists a typical closing fee for any transaction? So like, like you said, there, they are very different depending on the transaction. In terms of actual legal fees, it depends on how much work we do in the file. If it's just a simple sale, we're just discharging a mortgage, transferring the property over, there's no major issues, you're looking at a little bit lower legal fees. If we're doing an investment purchase, however, and we have to register an assignment of rents on title, we have to do extra searches, we have to, you know, there's, there's other, there's corporations involved, there's more steps with the lender, you may be looking at a bit more legal fees. But the other thing too, and what is separate because, you know, obviously my legal fees are gonna be different than another lawyer's legal fees, Hopefully ours are a little bit less, but we'll, we'll discuss that when yeah, you come to me. Better, you got it, absolutely. Uh, but the other thing too is there's always closing costs with every transaction. So with the sale, typically you're only looking at legal fees and real estate commissions. Now, with the sale, you do also have to, like I said, provide clean titles. We have to pay off the mortgage. We have to pay all utilities. We have to pay all property taxes till the date of closing. Property taxes get adjusted out on the date of closing depending on how much you paid. But again, all of these do have to be factored in. It's not just like you cut the cord, you're not responsible anymore. On the flip side, with a purchase, you do also have to be aware there will be land transfer tax, which we'll get to in just one second. There's title insurance costs as well. Both of those are on a sliding scale depending on the value of the property. You could be look, buying a, a cheap first time home buyer, you know, a, a starter house, and you could be very little uh, land transfer tax, very little title insurance. But if you're buying you know, your, your family home, your two or three million dollar family home, you could be looking at quite a substantial land transfer tax, quite a substantial title insurance cost. And you're gonna have to pay those no matter what. You also have to keep in mind there's also registration costs. Like I said, one of our fundamental things that we do for clients is register the documents. We actually register the deed in the land registry system for you and give you that deed to the property. Well, those things also cost money. Those, those are smaller costs and those are the same no matter if you're buying a $400,000 house or $2 million house. But again, those are costs you do need to keep in mind. So definitely they do vary, but there is so much that goes into it. It's not your flat fee, this is what's going to cost you. There is so many variables that affect the final cost per se. Yeah, there's certainly a lot of variables. Like I said, it comes down to the actual work we do on the file. It's yeah. not, th there's no such thing as a set fee, and I don't really like that set fee. Like I said, it's, if it's a standard, typical, everything's normal transaction, that's one thing. But like we'd mentioned, there's conditions in agreement of purchase and sales. If we have to negotiate those conditions, if we have to extend closing, if there's anything like that, there may also be additional fees because you know what? We're spending a lot more time to keep your deal alive, to make sure you can buy your home and make sure your rights are upheld. So there may be a few extra costs, but again, there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes that may not, you may not see because at the end of the day, you sign an agreement, you get what's said in the agreement. You don't actually see what I've done to make sure that you get what's in that agreement. Yeah, that's so important when you're, you know, calling. I know some people just call around and ask lawyers, "What's your, what's the cost? What's the cost? What's the cost?" Just make sure that you know that there's more that go into those costs, and that there could be so much more behind it. Um, and like I said, the cheapest isn't always the best, right? You want to make sure that you're covered. It's a big process. It's an important process. Biggest purchase of your life most times, right? Absolutely.